All right, this is Judson Powell. Fastest 15 minutes on the internet and on social media. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the love button. That's what I always say. I say hit the love button because love is, is everything. Whether you realize it or not, it's the, the center of, the, of everything. And our ancestors do that. That's why those 13 laws, those 13 universal laws, that's why like if, when they when they chart it out on the wheel and in the middle of it, right? Here's this big thing called love. Because they all they all revolve around it. Anyway, so I want to talk to you about timeline today. And I, I you know, we've been the last, you know, the last uh video that I made, it was talking about um getting out of Christianity. And in fact, you really should get out of all religion. Religion is bad. You know, spirituality is good. Why? Because spirituality is individualized. It's not it's not one size fits all. You don't have to do it the way that everybody else does it. In fact, if you do it differently, you know, then you should be admired because at least you're following what? You're following your own path, right? So follow your path. There ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, nothing wrong with following your path and nothing wrong with with you, you know, having a certain belief or, or whatever. Whatever works for you in the most high, then it works for you in the most high. And I can't tell you because I ain't the most high and I can't tell you your, whether you're right or wrong. But I do know this. If you're made in the image and the likeness of the most high, guess what? You ain't no sinner and you ain't evil. So and you ain't all of that stuff. So don't even fall for that. That's that's the that's the Christian inferiority complex. So right now let's talk about uh something that I talked about this before but I want to reiterate it and the thing is is that it's the timeline. And this is how you disprove all of these Christians out here that be coming at you and all this this is the way you disprove them. The the thing about Heru, right? Heru who is the who is the prototype for their Jesus, right? existed at least 40,000 years, well, actually 45,000 years before Jesus. 45,000 years, and then all of a sudden this dude comes along and he's like the dude, right? So what the whole 40, so what happened to people the whole 45,000 years? And then why, you know, even, even in their accounts or whatever, in their, in their stolen, you know, plagiarized Bible, they sort of, they got, they got all these different accounts of things that happen, but there's no, that where, where is Jesus's body? Look, for example, the Pharaoh that is in the Pharaoh that is in the Bible, or that would have been the Pharaoh of the Bible, you know, it, it, all the Pharaohs between that particular time, we have their bodies. They're, they're still around. Not, you know, not, they're not alive and breathing and all that, but we, we have artifacts. We have, we have their burial chambers and all of that kind of stuff. And you know what? The good, the good folks, you know, and, and y'all always talk about y'all don't want to believe nothing unless the Europeans co-sign it. Well, guess what? The Europeans co-signed it big time because they went and they, not only did they, uh, did they take it and, and make records and make accurate records and labeled and numbered every single thing that they found out of every single tomb. But guess what? It's still here. You can go see it. Go to the, you know, and I tell people all the time, go to the museums in, in, in England, go to the Louvre in, in France, go to the museums in, in Spain. You can go anywhere and guess what? Pretty much in, in pretty much almost every American museum, you can find the artifacts from Egypt or Kemet. I don't want to, I'm just saying Egypt to, so I don't throw everybody off, but get, but, but you under, do you understand what I'm trying to say? It's like, don't, don't get caught up in the hype of religion because it's really, it's not true. And the reason, like I said, and the reason why you know it's not true, 45,000 years, the timeline don't add up. And how can you take something that came 45,000 years later and act like that is, that is, you know, the, the, the ultimate word, the same thing. Like I tell people like, like with my Okay, think about Mayat. Mayat, Mayat was basically, and and the the American, the United States of America still uses Mayat as its guide for uh, for medicine, for law, for everything. But they just took it and changed the names. You know, Hippocratic Oath. You know, should be the the Oath of Imhotep. They just stole it from the brother. 
They stole it. It's straight up. This brother invented medicine, you know, and then all of our ancestors practiced medicine. We healed each other. Nobody, we, we didn't have no doctors and no hospitals and all that kind of stuff. And people, you know, it, it, that's just the way it was. And, 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 you know, all of these things are uh, what we call industrial complexes or ways to make money off of people. So, for example, you go just like that. What do you what do you think the even in the scriptures? What do you think that the that the the, uh, the woman with the issue of blood? What do you think that was telling you? You know, she gave all her she gave all her money to doctors. Right. And they still couldn't heal her. And then what healed her? It was the spirituality. It wasn't Jesus. They told you, you know, it wasn't Jesus. But look, we have had healers. We've had healers in our midst forever. How do you think they existed for 45,000 years before all of a sudden here comes Jesus? All right. The Immaculate Conception, the virgin birth, all of that, it came from Heru. Heru on the horizon. Look, the, the Sphinx is 50, over 50,000 years old, proved by water markings and also by the rock formation. Just so just like they can prove how old, you know, other stuff is on the earth. But yeah, y'all don't want to believe that. But that's y'all's ancestor. That's the that's that's who you are. You know, when you go in your church house or whatever, and you talk about Jesus and stuff like that. It's Heru. And the original Trinity. And I've been I've been preaching this and teaching this. The fact that they took the feminine energy. There was a point where women could reproduce without a man. That's how that's. And so when when they find all of these, why, why haven't they found any male? Why haven't they found any males that were millions of years old? But they found females. They found at least three male, three females that were at least three. that were at least a million years old on the earth. Carbon dated everything. And it, this ain't, and this ain't us black conscious people. You know, y'all want to talk about black conscious people. Well, shouldn't you want to be conscious? I mean, that's all I'm saying. Why would you not want to be conscious? Why would you not want to have wisdom and knowledge? That's what I, and, and I talk about that. Why do you allow Europeans and Caucasians who we trained and who we uh, gave everything to, why would you allow them to, to dumb us down? You're not dumb. You're not dumb. The only reason why you're dumb is because you don't believe in your ancestors. Who told you what to believe in them, the elders and the ancestors? That's who we supposed to look. That's who we supposed to. We have, we have so many, so many African and descendant of African scholars who have studied, you know, because look, those Europeans, when they, when they write stuff, I mean, I can go right now and I can pull up anything, you know, whether it be Google, Wikipedia, uh, you know, Encyclopedia Britannica, whatever. And the first thing that they do every time they bring somebody up is what they they put a Greek or Roman spin on it. It's because they if they if they control the narrative, then they control what's in your mind. As a man think of so is he. That's actually true. See the but the Bible is not the Bible is not fake. It's just plagiarized and then re and then retranslated for their purposes. So you have to understand all they did was stole everything that we did. And then after they stole it, they just King James said, OK, now let's make it so we can rule the world with it. And they even made their own. And here's how, you know, they even made their own people. Basically bow down to Jesus, because if you didn't believe in the Bible back during King James time, during his mother's time and during and during his time, guess what? You got killed. Whether you, you know, especially if you were in England or France, you you were taken out. And then when they got here, what do you think the whole witch hunt thing was about? Everybody who didn't believe in Jesus or, or who was still trying to practice holistic medicine or alchemy or anything like that, you were considered to be a witch. But the stuff worked. It worked for it worked for forty five thousand years. It healed people. It blessed people. It did everything. But they didn't want you to have that. Why? Because they wanted to control it. Oh, now. So now you can go to the doctor and we can get your money 
or you can come to the church and see you can come to church and you put money in church like all those things about the tithing and all of that stuff all of that stuff was made up by the church by the ecumenical councils heaven hell purgatory all of that kind of stuff when, when, when in the even in even, go back to your bible in genesis you know i, I did a, a teaching on that in genesis when at what point was the devil created at what point was hell created at what point, you know, there was all these things, you know, purgatory. Where, when was that created? It was created by the Catholic Church. It was not there. That was that was never in any of the scriptures. There was no tree of good and evil. There was no all of that stuff that they made up. You know, like I said yesterday, Noah's Ark, Mother Zudakias. That's what it's about. It's a it's a it's a metaphorical, allegorical thing about. The, about the stars, you know, think about it. And, and you could, because you can look and if, and if you look past even the constellations that are in the Zodiac, there's all kinds of things in the heavens. And what did they have? What did your ancestors really have to look at and to study besides that? Like I said, look at, look and look at the formation of, of all of these countries. All of these countries were formated or for, you know, they were formulated based upon our ancestors' knowledge and wisdom. There's no, there's no European knowledge that created the United States. All of those things are, are African. Universities are African. You know, even, even like I said before, people that are in, you know, in the Masonic, in the in fraternities and sororities, all of that stuff, coming of age ceremonies, everything is African and you have to you have to finally wake up and realize to yourself and it ain't about just the, the whole conscious thing it's just knowing being conscious is just knowing that stop believing the the hype that you're that you're not great you are great it's like you are the great you are a descendant of the greatest people ever they had nothing Look at all the structures, all of the different types of structures and everything that are available because what our people became master builders. Look at I mean, think about it. Look at look at I mean, even the United States of America, all of those buildings that are down in Washington, D.C. on the mall, you know, the White House, the, the Congress building, all of that kind of stuff. We built that. They tried to they tried to deceive us and tell us that we didn't until you know George Bush was president. And they found stuff in the White House <laughs> talking talking about all the brothers that were working on it. Let's go, you know. And then and so then you go tell me all of a sudden like after forty five thousand fifty thousand years that that some dude is gonna come along and he's your savior, the savior of what? They they never had a savior. Their, their savior was Aset. Aset was the savior. She was the one that, that, that created, you know, Heru out of what? You know, and Asar. Let, I mean, let, let's be serious. Let's be real. And then you take the story and you switch it around. And then you put the what? the Then you add the little, you know, stuff from the Flavians and all, you know, and and, and Constantine and everybody else get a little piece of the story. They take the they take the Ankh and make it into the cross. They take the you know everything is stolen. Everything is plagiarized. Everything is reworked in order that they could rule the world. And until you understand that, you will always be a slave because that's what they did. The manifest and I, I talk about the the manifest destiny. That's why they taught you that in, in school. Manifest destiny. All that is is self-fulfilling prophecy. They prophesied it. So, hey, it's coming true. Because why? Because they said that that's what would happen. Manifestation. What I've been talking about. Manifesting. You are manifestors. You are wonderful, brilliant manifestors. And we manifested everything. It was us. It was us. Not anybody else. Anyway. That's going to do it for me. <laughs> I get I get exhausted <laughs> trying to trying to wake y'all up. Just wake up and realize who you are and what you are and whose you are. And you are what well, to thine own self be true. Know yourself and to thy own self be true. Know yourself, yourself, not somebody else. <laughs>
Goodbye. <laughs>